okay? So merely looking at the shadow doesn't mean you are the shadow. Merely looking at the negatives doesn't mean it's negative, okay? In fact, the first step to transformation is actually looking at the shadow. It's looking at the anchor. It's not just pushing on the gas, okay? You push on the gas carrying anchors, you're going to burn out that engine. And that's why people get burned out in business. It's because they're carrying all these fucking anchors below the surface that they're not recognizing. And sooner or later, the engine just burns out. And people then go, well, maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I'm not worthy. Maybe whatever you want to answer. And it has nothing to do with that. It's just the fact you're still hanging on to all that shit. And you haven't healed some of those things that you need to heal about. And this can be acceptable for women to talk about. But men, you don't talk about that shit. You get the fuck over it. Right? So it's kind of counterculture to do some of these things. But as men, like... I felt like if you went and connected with some of those shadows, you would heal, you'd feel a lot better about yourself, you'd feel a lot more confident, and I think you'd start to connect with a lot more people through your marketing because of it. So tomorrow, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive a little bit deeper and say, okay, how do we actually like influence people this is just the information this is just the facts facts tell and facts tell and story sell okay so we need a story so we're going to talk about um joseph campbell he put together a formula called the hero's journey what he noticed is that every hero or every story kind of follows the same type of outline and so we interweave our messages through a story because 95% of our actions come from the unconscious, which is primarily influenced through emotions and storytelling. How do we tell our story when our story is like tragic and has a lot of things that, we, I don't want to tell my story because I don't want to sound like a victim. Is what I'm saying. I don't want to, I don't want to wear that badge, even though I was victimized, I don't want to let that story be what launches me into the future it's like almost like i don't even though it is a part of me and when i tell it it creates that reaction and it has people go oh i understand i can relate i can connect with you but i don't want that to be what you see what i'm saying like how do i do that it depends on how we're sharing the story and also it depends upon you know where we're at yeah. and i would say sometimes when people are taking away those things maybe there's still some things that we get to grow through first uh, sharing your story is a very transformational time. It's not just sharing your story. I would say sharing your story and your experiences is first more about you than anybody else. Because you're still finding the truth of the situation and what really happened. And you're still trying to own your part of what really happened. And so that's a very good question to ask is like exactly what you just said. And we'll be talking about that more tomorrow. Because the worst thing you could do, okay, and not to dog on women here, but women that have been through sexual shit, which is fucked up in every way, I totally agree, but they're the worst at it. They just are. I was raped and I was like, oh God, how could you do this to me? And there's no accountability about what they've done, what they continue to do in any way, shape, or form whatsoever. And you sound fucking ridiculous and the worst thing of all is you create other victims through your story that enables them so how we share our story is important just like a joke it's not the joke it's how you share the joke yeah there's a difference between like being victimized and maintaining an ongoing victim mentality exactly like i was saying shit that women have had to go through it happens way too much in society and it's really fucked up and it's it's on so many levels i've heard some really nasty shit so by no means am i by no means am i saying that that is acceptable by any means but i mean i had a client years ago she got raped four times at what point in time is it your responsibility like why why do you continuously find yourself in a situation like that like i'm sorry that that happened but that's four times. You know what I mean? So, 
<laughs> she didn't like when I said that. Yeah. What don't you like about it? Being honest. Okay. Yeah, and I would love to have a conversation. So what would you what would you say? What do you believe? What do I believe? I what I believe has no bearing on it. It's just the delivery of how you said what you said. Okay. So and if I sounded cold, like I was like I was saying a second ago, if I sound cold, I'm so sorry. No by any means does any woman deserve that. However, if I have a daughter, I can't go out there and fucking knock out every single dude that looks at my daughter wrong. So soon, at some point in time, I'm going to have to teach my daughter how to take responsibility about where she puts herself. Absolutely. That's, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 I don't have a daughter, but I would imagine that it's really scary in today's world having a daughter because all of that shit that happens. And being a coach over the years and hearing the things I've heard, it's really sad. But going back to it, I'm, I'm, I want to raise leaders and I can't protect every person everywhere they go. So at some point in time, they need, they need to, they need to take some responsibility. And the shitty thing is some women do take responsibility and they do find themselves still in that situation. And that's really sad. So that's all I'm saying. Going back to the story though, how we share the story matters though. How we share the story matters. And your story has ripple effects of how you share the story. And I want you guys to create other leaders, not create a world full of victims and where it's someone else's fault and not taking responsibility for who we are and our actions. We may not be able to take responsibility for what happened to us because sometimes things happen to us that there is no fault. But we can take responsibility for how we respond to that going forward. No matter what. Yeah. It's yeah. Hard. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Sorry. That's a touchy subject. Isn't no, it? it's a it's a good subject. And and going back to like your conversation, like, is that the things that we talk about? That's what I want these events to represent. I want it to be real, I want it to be raw, I want it to be authentic. And I think those are things that we do need to talk about. Because if we don't talk because when we're talking about like those things, like, yeah, we do need to talk about those things because it does matter. And whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, you're going to work with other men and you're going to work with other women. And so I think it's good to understand the story on both ends. So, and maybe I'm, maybe I'm blind to some things and maybe once I have a daughter, maybe I'll believe something a little bit different, but that's, that's what I believe. I doubt what you're saying. Okay. Saying like don't keep walking down the dark alley. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah, I get it too. That's what he's you know. what you were saying. I don't think he's saying like you deserved it four times, but he's just saying like at some point you have to say like, am I gonna walk down that dark alley again? 